That's something really powerful. I think the nature of our society, with social media, with just the way the enemy wants a narrative of a life that's dedicated to God to look like. Yeah. There's the there is the perception that that life is a boring life, right. Right? right? And I think we had that moment early, like late last year, we were like, well, this is going to be a boring life, right. kind of like that notion kind of like was creeping up on us. Right. Tell us about what this life has felt like so far in like consistently reading the Bible, yeah. you know, your journey through the pages of the Bible, through yeah. this, the, 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 the chapters of the Bible, the characters of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of it, you realize that the Israelites made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. So it makes you feel even more okay with being human. Mm -hmm. And you don't hold yourself up like, I can't, I can't. No, it's about the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. He knows we're flesh. Yeah. He knows we're battling it. But how, how much do you invite him into your life, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it was understanding that reading the Bible set the tone for my day, set mm -hmm. the tone for my morning. Mm -hmm. I'm now filled. It makes me realize how grief, how much gratitude I should really be living with in my life. And you start realizing that the story of Genesis, Exodus, Samuel, Ruth, all these things are literally mirroring my personal experience going through the wilderness where, yo, you've gone through the wilderness. This is what's going on. These are the battles you're feeling. In real life, you're going through the wilderness. These are the battles you're going through. Yeah. Yeah. You make it to the promised land. The Israelites are now make uh, uh, are now still bad, still yeah. not doing well. Yeah, making false, making idolizing, false idolizing, false gods, false gods yeah. and then having situations where, you know, the holy box was taken and the Philistines have yeah. now taken the box <laughs> and they've taken the blessings. That's where you're at. That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you start getting it, you start wanting to receive that back. Like it doesn't belong with the Philistines, yeah. but I'm going to give you back this holy box. But please do the right thing. Please be obedient to me. I've gotten you to the promised land. Here, this is what you can. If you if you follow me, you will get. And so you start doing things that the blessings may be going somewhere else. And then you're like, hold on, let me structure my life. Let me stop idolizing 